so I'm going to be changing the transmission fluid on this today. So I'm going to pop the hood here. So there's the transmission fill plug. I have an actual dipstick for that, but they don't come with dipsticks, so you have to order one. Alright, so I'm going to drive it up on ramps first, and then go from there. Alright, so I got it on ramps. I'm going to go under and see what's going on in there. Okay, so I got it ready. It's up on ramps and jacked up a bit to help us face. So we're gonna need a catch pan to catch all the fluid because it could be messy if you don't let it drain on one corner. But these are gonna need to come off. And usually that gets in the way. So I'm gonna use a jack to hold up the back end of the transmission while I undo that. Just gonna undo these ones and that, those two for the mount. But I'm gonna support the transmission with a jack first. All right, so these are 13 millimeter bolts. I'm gonna undo them on each side, and I get a jack holding in the middle here to support the transmission and stuff from falling down. All right, so I got the side bolts off. I'm gonna lower this. All right, so it lowered the transmission a slight bit. But now we can take this mount off. Then after the mount's off, we'll put the jack under this and jack it up a little bit to support it. Okay, so I got the plate off. There's two 15 millimeter bolts holding it on there. Now I'm just gonna put the jack there to support it. And now we have access to the whole pan. So now I need to undo the six fasteners here. And make sure you have a big drain pan because it's going to get messy. Try to catch all the fluid. Okay, so I just took the screws out on that side and then loosened the middle one. Start dripping from that corner. So I'm going to let it all drip until it's done dripping there. And then I'll start taking it off more. Okay, so I just dropped the pan there. I'm going to dump that out and clean out the pan. And that's the filter. So to get the filter off, you just take it and pull it down. You can wiggle it a bit. Yeah, and watch out for fluid coming. Okay, so I got the pan cleaned up and the magnet all cleaned up. And before installing it back on here, you wanna put the transmission filter on, of course. Should get a new one. Yeah, just take a little bit of transmission fluid and lubricate the O-ring on the transmission filter here. So the O-ring is lubricated. So that tab needs to line up inside there so you'll know it's in the right position so just put it in wiggle it a little and then find the tab now we can put the pan back up in place and tighten it on there all right so i got the pan back on there and i put that back so now i'm going to be putting fluid in and then we'll check the fluid level all right, so after you get your cap off, then we're gonna put a funnel in this hose here and put about five liters in there, because that's 
how much comes out when you just drop the pan and change the filter. Well, I got the dipstick, so I'm going to pull mine out so I can put the funnel in. Alright, so this is ATF plus 4, which is what we need to put in here. And I got the funnel in place, so I'm going to dump five of those in the tube there. Alright, so I got the five bottles in there, so now I'm going to start the car and take it off the ramp so it's a little bit more level. Okay, so it's time to turn it on. I'm just gonna back it up off the ramps now. But since we just put transmission fluid in it, I'm gonna run it through the gears here. Okay, so I'm gonna get this running so I can check the, uh, the fluid level. Okay, so the fluid is hot and it's at the top. Fair hot fluid, so. Fluid level's good. 